Hi, I'm Tom Newman from Capital Cycle Coaching. I'm here today to help you improve your cycling and hopefully advise you on the correct equipment to purchase for your cycle sport. You've got to have a comfortable position on the bike. If you're going to spend a number of hours on the bike, the last thing you want is to have a really uncomfortable position. So riders spend a long time trying to hone this position down. The next thing, of course, is training. The old British philosophy of getting the miles in couldn't be truer. You need to sit on the bike for hour after hour, pedalling efficiently, and also be able to eat and drink whilst on the bike. We get many riders will pile the miles in early season, maybe spending anything up to 200, 250 miles a week. If you divide that by the number of days that you've got available for training, say for example five days, five fives to 25, so they could be doing 50 miles a day, or well, typically they will spend about four, five, six hours on a Sunday, and probably less during the week with available time, but when the clocks go forward in the summer, they'll be getting the miles in. And you need the right clothing as well, there's no point in having an ill-fitting shirt or shorts that cut into your, into your groin, that's causing lots of problems. All these things are honed out over the years so that you know what to wear, what clothes to put on, wet weather clothing. Sometimes you ride in the night, so long distance cyclists will have lights on their bicycles. All these things have got to be tried and tested and proven in the field before they embark on these events. Benefits of training coming, not when you're actually riding, but when you're actually resting, so that you're getting the maximum benefit from all your training. So if you can put your feet up, put your feet up, try to live properly, you get the miles in, you eat well, you drink well, and you sleep a lot to, to get the maximum rest in. And that is long distance cycling.